guys what is going on i hope you guys are well guys i'm going to do a video uh about a couple of fights that we've had uh, a couple of big fights that took place um guys you know what you know that i'm honest when i give my assessment about fighters um when i really rate a fighter i'll come out and say i really rate them uh when i think i'm not a big fan or i don't i think there's someone's being hyped up but i don't think they're as good as what they're being made out i'll say it you guys know that um listen i like devin any i think he's a good fighter um I think he did okay against Gamboa. To be honest with you, actually, I'll take that back. I actually think it was a mediocre. Like, he, listen, he won every round, but Gamboa certainly looked way, way past his best. 38 years of age. Um, and he didn't even stop Gamboa. Javante Davis stopped Gamboa, right, in the, I think it was the last round. Um, and I didn't think that was a great performance by javante davis to be honest with you listen gamboa is a bigger guy javante davis is a smaller guy devin haney is an is a big 135 pounder right you could tell there was a quite a big size difference like height wise he looked way bigger now not maybe not like size not like height i mean height wise he was taller than gamboa maybe not size haney's not that filled out but it was just for me a lackluster subpar performance for a guy that everybody's saying that is the next coming, I, I don't know what everybody's looking at. I saw his performance on the YouTube card. I wasn't too impressed. Um, and now against Gamboa, I don't think the performance was that impressive, to be honest with you. Um, I think, you know, the I think you've got to start delivering. When you're talking and you're talking about him being this next star... You know, when you're fighting a 38-year-old year old man, right, you expect him to deal with him in emphatic fashion. And we got anything but that. The fight was boring. It was a terrible watch. Haney doesn't look like he's got a lot of power. Um, and I, and I, think he, I think he may struggle, personally, if I'm honest with you. He may struggle moving forward against some of the top guys. Um... I don't know how good Ryan Garcia is. We'll find out against Luke Campbell. But if Ryan Garcia puts in an emphatic performance against Luke Campbell, which is a legit guy, by the way. He's not Gamboa. Not a 38-year-old Gamboa. And listen, I'm not disrespecting Gamboa. Gamboa was a world-class fighter. And I actually think Gamboa in his prime would have beaten Haney, if I'm honest with you. Um, but Gamboa now is 38 years of age. He's nowhere near what he was. Um, I, I believe that Gamboa at Fort Crawford was, would have been a massive problem. For Devin Haney. Um, and I. If I'm honest with you. That performance. It doesn't scare anybody. Like Tiafimo tweeted after saying. You know email champion. For me Tiafimo beats him. I'm just going to be honest with you. Tiafimo looked like a good. He's a good boxer. He's a big puncher. And I just think. I just think he beats Devin Haney. If I'm honest with you. I'm just got to be honest. On what I've seen. Of their careers thus far. For me. Uh, Tiafimo Lopez has been a lot more impressive than Devin Haney. A lot more impressive. Like, we're talking about fighting 38-year-olds. There's no way Gamboa goes 12 rounds with Tiafimo Lopez. Just doesn't. Um, and, I, I listen, and uh, people may think I'm hating on Haney. I'm not. Uh, I'm just calling it how it is. You know, if you look at a lot of the people who had the exact same opinion, you know, if you look in the comment section of the DAZN, uh, a lot of the fans weren't happy with the performance because... It wasn't an impressive performance whatsoever. It wasn't. Um, when you were expecting a statement, uh, that was his first meaningful fight against a guy that was way past his prime, by the way. And you were expecting a statement. The reason why they got him Gamboa is because they were expecting Devin Haney to make a statement. Now, he won all the rounds, but that's not a statement to me. A, winning all the rounds against a guy that's way past his prime, you're, you're going to do that. But you couldn't stop him. And he didn't ever look hurt. He didn't ever look wobbled. Gamboa looked in the fight. You know, credit to Gamboa. He put in a great fight. He put in a great fight. He did better than most people expected. But come on, man. That was a, not a good... That was... You know, I don't know how anyone can say that was an unbelievable performance. Or that was 
great. That was subpar. That was subpar performance, really. Um, it wasn't a great performance from Haney, if I'm honest with you. Um, and he's got to do a lot better than that. If uh, There's no way that performance beats Lopez. No way. Just no way. Um, and in terms of like Eddie Hearn saying that Devin Haney's going to go through the weights, I think he needs to pump the brakes because I don't think this guy's going through the weights. If there's credible guys in the weight class above, right? forget 147, that's a dream. That's a dream for him to get that and even, even come close to winning a world title at that weight. 140, if the guys like Josh Taylor and that Regis Progre and guys like that still stay at 140, I don't see him winning any world titles there either. Um, and I, I do feel that, let's not forget, a lot of people think he's a, a paper champion because of the fact that he didn't really win the belt in the ring against anybody. And if I'm totally honest with you on that performance, I don't know if he beats Ryan Garcia. I, I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't beat Tiafimo Lopez. I think Javante Davis beats him. Um, and who's the other one? Lomachenko, for me, beats him as well. Um, so I think the only one that I would say that I'm not sure, and I actually think Luke Campbell can beat Haney as well. I, I, think, I think the only one that I don't know is Ryan Garcia because we haven't seen Garcia in a tough fight yet. Um, but from on that performance from Devin Haney, I'm not sure he's what people are making him out to be. Uh, he might go on to become a good champion, but when you're talking about him climbing through the weights and doing this and doing that, you need to pump the brakes because on that performance, I don't see, I don't see it, I don't see it. Um, but we'll let this in time will tell. Uh, maybe I'm being a little bit harsh. Uh, let let's see him in future fights, but I don't think that was that impressive. If I'm honest with a thirty, remember it's a thirty-eight year old Gamboa. We're not talking about even a guy that's he's severely past his prime like he's way past his prime he's 38 years of age that's old um and i just like haney's 21 there's 17 years difference between these two 17 years you know that's a big difference and and hey if if i was impressed with anyone was more with gamboa he put in a great performance for his age and the fact that he's passed his best, you know, he didn't look wobbled, he didn't look hurt in that fight. He just looked like, you know, yeah, not impressive for me. Uh, let's see what Haney does in the future. I'd like to see him in, in a fight against Teofimo Lopez, but like I said, I, I can't see him winning that one. But that's just my take. Leave your thoughts, let me know what you think. Um, then Luis Ortiz also fought um, Alexander Flores. That f fight finished in 45 seconds with some kind of freak injury. Um... What did we learn about Luis Ortiz in that fight? Nothing. You know, I want I want to see Luis Ortiz in a fight. Uh, I think Luis Ortiz, man, he's a great fighter. I like Luis Ortiz. He's just not he's just not got the big fights. Like he got Wilder twice, and and he got and he got hit with big rounds. He was doing well in those fights, both of them, and he just got wiped out. Listen, we need to see what we need to see Ortiz in there with someone, man. We need to see Ortiz fight Parker. You know, but I just feel like he's he's high risk and low reward. Nobody really wants to fight him. You know, I wouldn't even mind seeing Fury fight Luis Ortiz in December. If he's going to fight Caballero, I would love to, I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing Ortiz fight Fury. You know, rather than seeing him fight Caballero, you know, I, I would love to see Ortiz get a fight. I think Ortiz is a great fighter, man. I think, I don't think he's, he's got enough world level fights. I think him, Parker, him against Parker, him against Ruiz, him against any of those guys, man. I, I just think Ortiz could do a job. He's a good fighter, man. And even if he doesn't win, He'll put in a great performance. Ortiz is a good fighter. He needs to get he needs to get fights. I don't know why people don't give Ortiz fights. I don't get it. Ortiz is a very good fighter. You know? I don't know why he doesn't get these these fights for some reason. Um But yeah, what what did you make of what who do you think Ortiz should fight next? Uh what do you think what do you think about Luis Ortiz? Uh his career, the fact that he's not managed to get Many top fighters in the ring with him. Um, I would love to see him fight Joseph Parker. I think that's a great fight. Joseph Parker gets past Junior far, um, far. Then I'd love to see him fight um, Luis Ortiz. That's a great fight. You know what about Derek Chisora and Luis Ortiz? That's a good fight. You know Derek Chisora is coming off a loss. Why don't you make the Derek Chisora Luis Ortiz fight Eddie Hearn? 
that's a great fight. That that's definitely a fight that you could headline. Pay, I mean, not headline pay per view. I mean, put on a Saturday fight night. That's a good fight. You know, Luis Ortiz is fighting Alexander Flores. Surely a fight between him and Derek Chisora. And if Derek, whoever wins that can push on. For me, that's a perfect fight. Fight Derek Chisora. I think Ortiz beats him, but I still think that that's a great fight. A great fight. And who knows? Luis Ortiz's punch resistance isn't what it was. He's getting older. So maybe Derek Chisora. We know Derek Chisora has got good punch resistance. Still. So let's see that fight. I think that's a great fight. Ortiz v Derek Chisora. We saw Derek Chisora give a gallant effort against Alexander Usyk. Maybe Ortiz against Usyk. That's a good fight. Do you see what I mean? There's so many fights. Ortiz shouldn't struggle to find a credible dance partner in the heavyweight division today. He shouldn't. Why should Ortiz not be able to fight top-level contenders? Why is he struggling? Why is he fighting Alexander Flores when he should be fighting Ruiz, Usyk, Chisora, Dillian White, Pavetkin, Kabayel, you know, Takam. Why is he not fighting guys like that? You know, he's fighting guys like Ali. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like Ortiz, whoever's managing him, is not doing a great job. He's not able to get him any fights. You know, fighting Flores and fighting Dave Allen and fighting. What's that? What's that all about? What is he getting from fighting those guys? I don't get it. I don't get it, to be honest with you. Um, sometimes I don't get boxing. Um, but. Hergovic also beat Ryder Book or uh, Brooker Booker was it? Uh, you know that was just a beat down. You know the other guy was too old, and Hergovic is a serious beast of a man. Um, you know Eddie N talked about Dubois against Hergovic. Uh, for me, Dubois beats Hergovic. I think Dubois is a lot more spiteful. I think Dubois is a lot more quicker. I think Dubois is a lot more mean. Mean. I think he knocks him out. I think Frank Warren should take that fight. But again, I feel like he probably thinks Hergovic is a step behind Dubois right now. Um, I, I think I think Dubois beats him. Dubois will beat Hergovic, if I'm honest with you. Um, maybe that's a fight for the future, but I, I, I think Dubois beats um, Hergovic. I mean, Hergovic is all right. He looks a bit um, robotic to me, if I'm honest. He's, he's definitely strong and he punches hard. But does he beat uh, Daniel Dubois? Nope. Not in my opinion. Uh, Dubois is better for me. But Hergovic is no joke. I'd like to see Hergovic in there with Parker. What about Hergovic Ortiz? Make that Eddie Hearn. But I get, again, Eddie Hearn wouldn't make that fight. You see, because he looks at Dubois. Dubois is on the up. But yet he wouldn't want to fight someone like Ortiz, who's, old, who's a lot older, strong, very good. Make that fight. Eddie Hearn should make Hergovic Ortiz. But they won't make that fight because they know Hergovic could get exposed. This is what I mean. This is the problem with boxing. Everybody's looking for their man to get go to another level. They're not looking for for somebody else to put somebody else in 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 a level of fight where they they could be exposed, and they're not going to gain much from that fight. It's all business, you see. Eddie N would. I don't think Eddie N will put Hergovic in there with Ortiz because he knows he could get exposed and could get beat. But yeah, he's looking at Daniel Dubois and thinking, even if Dubois beats Hergovic, right, you know, Hergovic can come back. But if Hergovic beats Dubois, he's got everything to gain. In that fight, Hergovic has got everything to gain, nothing to lose. Whereas Dubois, Dubois on the up, Dubois' rankings going, going on the way up. Um, if Dubois loses that, he's got everything to lose. He's got nothing to gain fighting Hergovic, especially if he beats Joe Joyce. He's got nothing to gain. Um... But that's my take on it. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.